Hey guys, how are you here from the Art Gear Thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, as you can see, uh, this video is a comparison video. Now, I've not done very many of these. I've only done two of these. They're Derwent. Both of them, I think, are Derwent based. Uh, I'm always talking about doing comparison videos because people are always asking me which pencil's better than this one and that type of thing. So, I finally got around to doing one. As you can see, this one is the Faber Castell Polychromos against the Caran d'Ache Pablo. I can remember when I first got into colour pencils, uh, I used to hear all the time that these two pencils are very, very similar. Um, and it really does come down to, this is what I was told back then, it comes down to you know which you can afford uh, or which type of brand you prefer because there's not much in difference between these two pencils. So I wanted to get this comparison video done so that I can, for my own mind, see which one is better than the other. Now, what I will say is, I will not be giving you my opinion on which pencil I think is best. This video is just purely for you to take a look at the results of the different tests that I've done and come up with the, which one you think is best suited for the artwork you want to do. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a speed drawing of this test that I've done. Now, I've done it as scientifically as I can. I know that I haven't used the exact same pressure on both pencils all the way through the tests. I've done it as best as I can. When I've been doing the light layers, I've been holding the pencil as far back as I can, that type of thing. Uh, but I've done it exactly as fairly as I can with both pencils all the way through the test. But I will... After I finish speaking here, um, you'll see a speed drawing of this, and I will talk you through it, uh, the different things that is uh, the different tests that I've done here. Uh, also, uh, I've done a little bit of artwork as well here, both on the uh, the same page, so the paper and all that is exactly the same. Uh, this one's done with the Pablo, and this one's done with the Polychromos. I have a speed drawing of this, so you can go across and watch both these images come to life. For you to make up your own mind about whether which pencil you would prefer, I would suggest watching this video, take a look at the speed drawing of the artwork, go across to the written review, um, because there's a lot more information over there, and I showed the, the, the two palettes as well, from the Pablo and the Polychromos, because that could also sway your decision in which pencil you may go out and buy. Um, and then also as well, I also have individual reviews of the Pablo and the Polychromos as well. I'll have links for those down below. So if you're kind of like in two minds as to which set you want to go, especially if you're going to go out and buy the 120 set of either one of these pencils, you're going to be spending a lot of money. And so you need to know which pencil is going to be right for you. And the best way to do that is just to take a look at the different results that I'm going to show you here. What I've written over on the uh, Art Gear Guide as well and Put it all together and come up with your own conclusion. It's very easy for me to tell you at the end of this video which one I think is best. But that's not going to help you at all. Because it's best, which pencil I think is best is for the type of work that I enjoy doing. Which may not be right for you. So what we're going to do is we'll get into this video. I'll show you the speed drawing of the tests. Talk you through it. Uh, and then after that, I'll come back on with a, a little bit of a, a conclusion type of thing of the tests and we'll wrap it up there. Okay, so as you can see here, um, I've compiled this test, which I think will show both these pencils um, their weaknesses and their strengths. So as you can see here, uh, I've got the Pablo on the left, the Polychromos on the right. The first row here, I'm doing just one light layer, and then this second row now that you can see, I'm doing five light layers uh, of the scarlet on both the Pablo and the, the Polychromos. Now, the reason I always do kind of five layers and leave it at that is because for those color pencil artists that use uh, odorless mineral spirits, it's generally considered best to have at least five layers or three or four layers at, at the very least before you start using odorless, min odorless mineral spirits because the min what you've got to do with using mineral spirits is to break down the pigment and there has to be enough pigment on the page for you to kind of like turn it into that painterly effect. Um, so as you can see there with the top line, um, 
I've done one light layer and then five light layers with the scarlet and now on to the grass green. Now, with both these pencils, I tried to, I picked out uh, these four colors that were named exactly the same. Okay, so you can see me here with the grass green. Thing is, the grass green on the Pablo and the grass green on the Polychromos are two different colors. I know I could have eyeballed the colors and left it at that, but I wanted to, I wanted this test to be as fair as I possibly could. So like with the scarlet, both those pencils were scarlet. This one here, the grass green, both of them are called grass green. Now we're under the cobalt blue. The both pencils are cobalt blue and the, the final one is the Naples yellow. They're both Naples yellow. Um, I just thought it was more fair to do it like that. So you can see here now I'm on to the, the five light layers with the cobalt blue. I think with the, the grass green on the 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 polychromos side, which is the right side as you're looking at it, is probably brighter, but you've got to take into consideration that they are two different colours or tones of colour. Um, again with the cobalt blue, this cobalt blue for the uh, polychromos more looks like ultramarine blue but nevertheless again they're both named cobalt blue so that so i used both those types of pencils but in terms of the layering they layered very very well i'm using a 140 pound watercolor paper now it's not the best quality watercolor paper but it's a hot pressed uh, watercolor paper nonetheless i would say with the pablo by about layer three and four i was getting a little bit of resistance but i didn't seem to get that with the uh, polychromos um i'm not too sure why that is but uh that that's kind of the results that i got you can see here with this naples yellow as well you know it, the layering ability of both these pencils is really nice but i would just say with the pablo i got that little bit of extra resistance um, it just seemed like there was no more layering going on, but there clearly was. So what I'm doing now is I am just doing a little bit of blending, a little bit of mixing. So I've got the Naples Yellow and Cobalt Blue here with the Pablo pencils. So the two Pablo, Blue and Yellow. Uh, just mixing them together to try and get that green in the middle. Uh, and you can see here, I'm just doing the, the light layers and then towards about the fourth layer, I think it is, on both pencils, then I basically burnish this, this green in. So I put like a, a lot more harder pressure down. Now I'm doing the same colours with the polychromos. And you can see again here, that this, this blue that I'm using, although it's a cobalt blue, it looks a little bit more purpley. It looks a little more, more in the ultramarine spectrum. But... It is what it is. But nevertheless, during this blending technique, uh, you can see here, it, it created a really nice dark, dark rich green, which is what you want. Uh, all colour pencil artists know that blending, trying to make another colour is pretty difficult. Um, and it's just something that you've got to work at uh, in order to get the, the, the best result you can. So you can see here, uh, again, I'm using the Pablo pencils now. And again, I'm using the Scarlet and the Naples Yellow. So I'm hoping to get like a, a nice orange uh, with these two colours. And now we're on to the Polychromos. Again, Scarlet, Naples Yellow. Uh, hopefully going to get like a, uh, a nice orange here. Generally, I'm doing about three or four layers on each side with each color here, and I'm just bringing them together to create this color in the middle. Like I said in the introduction, this isn't about me telling you what pencil I think is the best. It's just basically showing you these tests and uh, allowing you to come up with your own conclusion. So here what I'm doing is I'm just putting one, one single heavy application down. Uh, so the top row here is the, the Pablo again, uh, the Pablo and the Polychromos Scarlet. Now I'm using the grass green for both. Again, you'll see clearly here on this test, especially the, the, the differences in these two colors. 
Uh, and now I'm under the cobalt blue. But you can see that both pencils deliver a really nice deep rich colour whenever you're putting that uh, heavy application down. And that's it. Okay, and so this is the final test here where, um, like I said, I always put these five layers down and uh, hopefully that best helps represent uh, those colour pencil artists that use odorless mineral spirits. So I've got a little bit of zest that's here in this pot. I'm just going to do um, both these colours, show you how they work together with odorless mineral spirits. Now, I'm going to wrap this video up while I'm talk while I'm doing this. I'm going to talk to you about the um, both these pencils, the Pablo and the the Polychromos. What I would say is, like I uh, said at the beginning, definitely go across and check out the written review for both these pencils because I'll be able to show you um, the palettes for both of them because the palette is quite important as to the type of work that you're doing. Now. As you can see here when I'm doing this um, odorless mineral spirits, I personally, as, a, as an artist, don't use odorless mineral spirits for colour pencil work. Um, it's just my own personal preference, so it's not something I use all the time. But you can see here, both these pencils have got five layers down, yet though the Pablo doesn't seem to have as much pigment on the paper as the Polychromos. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, the polychromos on this test definitely seems to deliver more pigment uh, or allow for more pigment to be moved about. But the differences in, in these pencils I found all the way through are very, very minimal. There are differences, but they are minimal. I think for me personally, the biggest differences would be the palettes because the um, they do have different colors in them. They do have like better green. Um, each each palette has a better uh, use for a particular type of art. I think, uh, and so I think that's why it's it's definitely it should definitely be a factor if you're going to buy a hundred and twenty set of pencils as to uh, which which palette is the best for the type of artwork that you want to do. Um, the po I mean, the, the Polychromos is definitely the, the workhorse for so many colour pencil artists. I don't see the Pablos being used an awful lot in... in color pencil artwork uh, if you look at a lot of artists when they're putting their work up and they tell you what paper they've used and what pencils have they've used um, the, the Pablo doesn't seem to feature an awful lot and I'm not 100% sure why because um, it is a really really nice pencil and there you go so I know I have, I know I could have spent a lot longer on that, but it's just to give you a little idea as to how the, 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 the pigments react with the odorless mineral spirits. Anyway, guys, that's my comparison video. Don't forget, before you make up your mind, if you're in the, you know, if, if you're looking for a new pencil and you're going to get 120 set and you're looking at the Pablo or the Faber-Castell Polychromos, before you go ahead and spend all that money, watch this video, take a look at the speed drawing of the artwork and also then go across, take a look at the written review because I have a lot more information over there as well. Uh, and that might help make up your mind. And also as well, just to further hammer that, that um, information through, I have individual reviews of both of these pencils as well. So I'll have the links for that down below in the description uh, and also over on the written review. You'll find lots of links over there as well. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget the next video coming up, I think is going to be the Koei Noor for the 144 set that's just come out. So keep an eye on that video and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Bye.